Hello my lovely ULAP watchers and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to the Gunman Airsoft Open Day. Um, they had some stalls there, this is one of them. It was the wonderful Nick Mods. Uh, you can find her on Facebook. I really wanted a couple of her things. You'll see one of them in more detail in a second. So she makes these phenomenal kind of animal head pauldrons and I guess helmets? Um, or like headdresses. Oh man, how cool is that bear one? My partner really wanted that. Uh, here is me trying them on, because that is what everyone wants to watch on YouTube. A grown man-child trying on various animal parts and, uh, yeah, enjoying it a little bit too much. Um, one of the straps hadn't been finished yet, so I'm just kind of holding it on. As you can see, it's not ideal. Um, so there's one strap that kind of goes around your chest and one strap that went underneath the arm and then just sat perfectly like that. I mean, how cool is that? That is ridiculously good quality um, it was made from I think it's a sheepskin and a couple of other furs as well and just the the hair on it was just brilliant the eyes wonderful um, I tried to put my sunglasses on and completely failed sorry for that um, I know the world will never get to see me wearing a giant lion head and wearing sunglasses um, this is the sort of prop that when you see it, you really want to make a character to fit it. It's like super unique. No one else is going to have anything like this. That's just ridiculous. I really want it to be, for those of you who are Warhammer players, a white lion. And have that on the shoulder. Um, then, for one of the other games they run at Gunman, uh, is oh, I guess like a piratey themed, I think. I'm not really sure, I'll have to get them some information on it, I've never done it. But they uh, had a load of spare red coats, which they're currently selling some of their excess stock. And I really wanted this one. Uh, I may have brought the hat, because uh, I could just about afford that, but not the coat. And then we went actually around the site and had a little bit of a walk. Um, if you've seen some of my previous videos, you would have seen this wall before, where I was a crew and had to attack it. It might not look like this is a very steep hill, but oh boys. This is a leg killer, an absolute leg killer. And here we can see the gatehouse. You can go up there, we'll pop up there in a second. The gate itself, um, then finger crushing, pushing in and stuff like that is, is gonna happen, but they've done what they can to make sure it doesn't. And as long as people aren't idiots. There's Kitty and Conrad, good friend, Catherine, sneaky in the back from our tabletop game. Right, let's go up onto the gatehouse. So, they rule up, I can't remember, they've got a maximum number of people you're allowed up here at any point. And just look at the view you get. Kabam. Like, good luck attacking that. You can see so far in the forest, get a couple of archers up there, it is phenomenal. And then even when they do get in the gate, because it sits slightly back, you can have a couple of guys with spears up there poking down. And then once they're in, you, you're kind of dead. Once they've got in, unless you can hold the stairs, which you can't, and Catherine trying to hide from me. Uh, my partner actually came to this gay event with us. Um, if you can find her, I'll be amazed. She is the boss at hiding from the cameras. She does exist, I promise. Um, try and go down these stairs without killing myself. It's a really cool feature to have at a LARP site. It like, just completely changes the game mechanics and and what you can add and take away from the world. Um, behind it, they've got various little huts and bits and bobs. Um, they were currently building um, a brand new um, feast hall longhouse, but I didn't get any pictures of that because I'm an idiot. Um, I left my camera and then had to go back and get it and then didn't go back, unfortunately. Um, but we look back from this side. Oh, there she is. You see her just running at the back. <laughs> I did get her. I got my missus. Uh, cool little wheelbarrow thing. So now we're going to uh, a different area. So they do tons of different games at Eversley. Um, some like airsoft and I don't think they do paintball. Um, um, we're going to a bit that is kind of like more modern World War-y. Um, big old gun thing there. Look how cool that is just the whole site is designed to kind of take you into that world more 
which really helps. Catherine trying to do dodge the camera. Oh, I really got my partner Sander there. She wasn't looking. She's failing. If we go down into this little bunker, like, imagine being in here and then um, getting attacked by loads of things and you've got the airsoft guns. Ah, just brilliant. Make our way around. Loads of oil barrels. A big pit thing. Like, whatever that wheel thing mortar is. Just loads of different places to defend this big old base. I really liked it. I've never really thought about doing airsoft or any kind of like futuristic games, but from seeing what can be done, I mean, this would make great if they're kind of like a post apocalyptic site as well. When here we go, cool little uh, lookout point, kitty just showing off. And if we pop up there as well, you'll be able to see how cool it is and the view you get. Imagine like being out here on watch and people trying to sneak up on you. Ah, oh, that'd be excellent. I'd really enjoy that. Ah, oh, I didn't think I caught Sander much on camera, but look, she's completely failed to hide from me. She won't be happy. If we make our way round, and they've got some barbed wire here, which from distance looks real. And then look what happens when I get in close. It's all fake. <laughs> I think that's brilliant. Like, just little things to help build the world and make it look all realistic. Um, the, Kitty was saying they use a lot of flashbangs and smoke grenades and all kinds of things coming into the town. And there you can see where we were earlier. Super cool. Um, another look at some of these red coats and some of the other bits and bobs as we made our way back in. Some of the other stalls that they had. This is uh, like the Wild West Village. It's being used by a lot of people. So I didn't want to do too much filming here. And there you got to see Johnny. Okay, cheers for watching. Um, nice short video. Expect more LARP stuff coming soon. And cheers, bye.